Oh, I'm driving along in my Subaru BRZ, having a wonderful day, when all of a sudden a small goat walks into the road and I swerve and I lose control. Oh, and I've had a terrible accident. But not today, because today I'm on a skid pad. It's a bit odd that the best way to learn how to control a car is to lose control in a car. This is one of the largest skid pans in the country, giving you the freedom to sharpen your skills. A lot of driving is instinct. The problem is the instincts you have are often counter to what you need to be doing to keep control of the car. And that is the thing that a course like this gives you, is it just helps you rewire your brain a little bit. It's not, what do I think I should do? It's what I should do to get out of this situation. And the only place you can learn something like that is on a course like this. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Thumbs up. <laughs> Thanks, Tudor. <laughs> Next up was high-speed braking. I hitched a ride in the special Subaru Works car to see what it feels like to stop a car from 160 kilometers an hour. I have a feeling that my face over the next few minutes is going to be very amusing. Very, very amusing. All right, here we go. End of the bank. We are sitting at 140, 150, 160, right, we're about to go through the cones. Tutu's gonna jump on the brakes. Here we go, that's quick. <laughs> now, it's all good and well knowing how fast your car goes, but how fast can it stop? We're at the high-speed oval at Geritech to test just that. Now, I'm gonna drop my scarf here on the X and that's where I would hit my brakes at 60 k's an hour. And to stop from 60 actually doesn't take that long. In fact, you start to realize why the speed limit in suburban areas is 60 k's an hour. It's just a couple of meters. But now if I'm at highway speeds, well, that's a different story. So let's walk to where it would take to stop a car from 120 k's an hour. That is Sure, there's my scarf all the way down there. So you think just by doubling the speed from 60 to 120, you double the stopping distance, but you don't. It's four or five, maybe six times the distance to bring your car to a complete stop from highway speed. So just bear that in mind next time you're cruising along the freeway. Finally, it was back to the skid pan for the ultimate test of our new skills, a race against the clock on a specially designed course. Two, one, go. Woo! Right, so this is the gym corner. This is the part of the day where you test your skills that you've learned against the clock. And, ah, oh, bit of handbrake there. The thing is, we live in a country with exceptionally dangerous roads. And advanced driving courses like this really can help. Oh, get going, give me power. You can just get the best out of your skills. Oh, just missed that cone. Come on. And just be the best driver you can be, really. Whew. Dead stop. Hope that was a fast one. There's courses like this around the country. A couple of brands do them, and they're really not that expensive. The thing is, your drive to work today is probably going to be the most dangerous thing you'll do all day. So there's nothing wrong with giving yourself the best skills you can. With a range of quality products guaranteed nationally, you'll always find there's so much more to Midas. 